when you when they put a bag on your head, the only thing you remember is actually the sound. Mostly the silence and uh, some steps in the corridor. And I used that silence for the first time to really th listen to my own thoughts. It's called Voluntariat. It's for people who want to learn media. And we have like nine stations, three radio stations, three TV stations, and three uh, newspapers that we will go through. And one of them is Deutsche Radio. And that was the point I understood that, okay, I technically know a lot of stuff about how to produce something, but the content, how to build the content and how to give the information right, this journalism part is missing. The idea came from um, what happened to me and the biggest impact on this story was that a lot of media was in the country, international media, and they were writing about my story. And then I understood media is actually the fourth power and it can change something immediately. 2012, also 2012, sie haben mich in einem Straßenprotest als äh, Musiker verhaftet, wenn äh, man auch schickt. There was a lot of uh, beating up and stuff during those 10, 10 days inside and uh, they called it like giving a lesson. And at the end of one of those lessons they said, uh, listen, you have two choices. Either you go out of here and just leave the country immediately. Stay if you want, but uh, we'll keep this cell for you here free uh, for five years. It's yours. Yeah, the reason I chose uh, to come to Berlin and not to go to jail was a very rational choice. I thought. Okay, you can go to jail, stay there five years, read a lot of books. Of course, there is a sense in that, but if I'm in a free world where you can do everything, there I can do more. And I cannot write a song in jail, but I can write uh, millions of them outside. I found my place and it was summertime and in summertime Berlin is like full of festivals. That was exactly what I was looking for actually. Uh, on drugs called life or freedom, yeah, and then winter came. It's hard to get inside the life here without knowing German. And uh, English is okay, but you stay on the surface of the city, you don't dive inside of it. So, ein Bier bitte und ein Pretzel. Bier, Pretzel. Ein Bier und ein Pretzel. After you start to read uh, a little bit news and uh, hear a bit radio and understand the people in the streets, so you, I think that's the point you get. Uh, to be a part of the city. Sorry guys, do you know where's the kitchen? The kitchen is just through ah, the door. Yeah, okay. Thank you. İyiyim sağ ol. Azerle konuştum. Ah. İstiyor gelmeyi. Bir şeyler ayarlayabiliriz, evet. Wow, man, thank you. No, just have to continue. I'm sorry. We're like really Yes, yes, please. Okay, so. So. 4 years ago, I think we started the project for Azerbaijan Made on TV. It is dangerous and all of our members, all of the people who are working for Medan TV, uh, most of them are on the list of uh, people who are being searched in the country. There, oh, there is a le like legal action against us that if they catch us, they can arrest us. In that sense, people trust Medan TV and that's our only, that's our biggest tool. We're not as professional as we would like to be. That's why I'm going through this uh, media uh, trainings and stuff so that we know better and we do it, we do it better. Uh, but this trust that um, people when hear something from Maidan, they know that it's not a lie. Uh, that's already a big thing for us.
because in our country most of the information is lie. Yeah, we made the song and took them seven days to understand what is it about. After seven days, they came to my mother's place and knocked the door and said, um, you're the mother of this guy. Yeah, he made a song. You have to call him and tell him that to delete the song. So this conversation went for three days. They were saying, do it. I was saying no, and I officially posted it. I'm not going to delete. If he wants some changes, the president, let him start, let, let it start him first. And this whole process to taking her to the police station and talking from on the phone from there and then bringing her back. During those three days, the campaign was already in the internet. You delete it, we post it. That was the idea. And people started to download the video and upload from their own accounts so that if I delete it, it's everywhere. And now I have the new challenge to do something new, but uh, without putting people in the risk. I went to the YouTube pri uh, uh, privacy changes and made it from public to private for three weeks. And they thought it's gone. After three weeks, I opened it again. So technically, I didn't even delete it. When I came to the Deutschland Radio and they said they sometimes also go to Philharmonic and do some I was like, yes, please take me there. There was a friend of mine, Aral, and I actually contacted him a couple of days later. I told him, man, imagine what I'm doing now. Like, I'm in the Philharmonic, as, as we're dreaming about. I have this song about uh, uh, almonds and people, Adam Badam. It's like I'm saying this uh, bunch of people in the, in the middle of a bazaar and uh, they're walking and buying almonds and people. The only thing is different by almonds and people that people are cheaper than almonds. Yeah, I'm always ready to go back. And I do everything for that, that it's, a, it's again a livable country where people can come back. A lot of people will come back and um, we can create another Berlin there. Or it doesn't have to be exactly Berlin, but uh, this amount of freedom. And freedom is such a thing people really like, like that feeling. It's like a drug again. And I experience myself, I know that if you bring some drops of it there and it's, it will just uh, start to heal the whole place. And people will not be able to live without it anymore.